Welcome to Online Analytics and Measurement. Web Analytics is the analysis of quantitative and qualitative data from your website and the competition to drive a continual improvement of the online experience that your customers and potential customers have, which translates into your desired outcomes both online and offline. So, starting with the old model, today we still begin with the concept of a clickstream. And so, having the ability to answer the so what question um, and to make the response to that question increasingly sophisticated and tangible, but then we have to start to add on what's available today. So, multiple outcomes analysis. This is a, a complicated way to, fr to frame what's really a, a pretty simple core idea. Experimentation and testing. Voice of customer. Competitive intelligence. Customer insights. So let's move on to the discussion of eight critical web metrics that you'll be dealing with on a regular basis. Visits or visitors. Visits are a measure of user sessions. Okay. Unique visitors is a bit different to calculate. The actual number of actual people who came to the site. Time is an important metric captured by calculating the time at which visitors request or are first served a page or attract assets from your site. The diagram represents a simple web session. The visitor comes to page number one and then goes on to page number two and then continues on to page three. Bounce rate tells you how many visitors came to your site or a page on your site and left without taking another action. Um, the click path could go from uh, on here, page four to page two, then to page three, including the completion of a goal or a conversion along the way, and then back to page two before leaving the site entirely. Session. Uh, engagement does and can mean different things to different businesses. Um, a combination of other metrics, it could be a goal accomplishment, it could be the frequency of site visits or, or really almost anything. So what makes a metric great? It should be simple, it should be relevant to the business decisions that need to be made, they should be timely. And finally, metrics need to be instantly useful.